Hi everyone, it's Beth from the Wilton Test Kitchen here to share another piped buttercream flour with you. Today, I'm excited to share the carnation. A lot of you have asked for this and it's really pretty and roughly, so it's a really nice flour to know how to make. You're going to need to use stiff consistency icing for this and I'm using a tip 104. You can also use a tip 150, but I prefer the 104 because it tapers at one end so your flour doesn't get as bulky. You'll also need to use a flour nail to make this. And I wanna show you these flour templates. If you're new to piping flowers, these can be very helpful in terms of getting the correct spacing for your petals. There are a variety of different patterns available. We are going to use the apple blossom and primrose one because it works great for any flower that has a base of five petals and our carnations are going to start with five petals. These guys are adhesive, so you peel one off and you put it right onto your flower nail, and then you attach your parchment square just to that. You can see through the parchment, so you can easily see the divisions, and it just helps you to space things evenly. Now righties, you'll hold the bag at three o'clock, and lefties, you'll be at nine, but you'll always have the base, the center, the fat part of the tip down, and at the center of your piping nail. Squeeze and shimmy up and down as you rotate the flower nail for one fifth of a turn to make one petal. Squeeze, come up slightly and rotate and jiggle and come down. And you can see how my petals are fitting into the divisions on the template. So this really for a beginner is really helpful for spacing. Now we're going to make four more petals the exact same way. We're just gonna stagger them slightly so that they don't all start and stop at the same place. And that jiggling motion, the up and down slightly of the bag as you rotate, really is what gives this carnation its nice, roughly look. Now I'm making kind of smaller carnations. You could keep going with this and make them bigger or rounder, or use a bigger tip to make them rounder. But actually here, I'm just going to make two, maybe three little petals at the top with the tip facing further upwards to finish out my carnation. It's cute, it's sweet, it's little, but make them as big as you'd like. Now we need to pop this into the freezer. Let it chill for 15 minutes or so. You want it to be totally firm before we can peel off the paper and put it onto our treat. When your carnation is fully frozen, it's easy to peel away the parchment and place it directly onto a treat, just like that. Carnations are available in a ton of different colors. I've even seen them in grocery stores in vibrant green and really bright blue. So have fun with your color selections when you're piping carnations. Now I wanna hear from you, which flower should we do next? Leave me a comment below, I love reading them. And please, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe to our channel. Wilton always has new ideas coming for you and we love sharing them. I'll see you soon.